Oh, I'm out here. Rigged. Moving on. All set up. Hit the water. High, high, high tide. Wind blowing upstream. Water's in the parking lot. Pretty high. Cold to wind, baby. Cold to wind. something on film. Caught a couple already and they were off camera because I had people around the area and they didn't really want too much but the tide is going out and I am catching a couple. I've been I went down one stretch of a bank and in practice is sometimes eliminating water and I have eliminated some water so um, not ready yet. It's probably a month out before that's even ready. But there, sitting, seems like I'll probably catch another one I bet right there because even though it's a canal or a creek and you have cypress trees, wood, and everything else in a flat bank low tide as, which is coming out there's still a bank that comes down and the fish will sit on the bank even though it might be a foot of water up there and I'm sitting in nine right here and the distance right there a foot of water there's still fish that sit on the edge and that's what's going to do and that's how it's caught three so far up here That I didn't have last year in here. Good thing I just came in here. So. Two and a half, better than nothing, right? <laughs> he's been caught before because he's got a pin hole in his mouth. I don't know why anybody would use that. But it's a good one. The wind's blowing and it's cold. Very deep pocket edge. I'm sitting in five foot of water and I'm really close to the bank. So we're trying it here and see what happens. So I've had a few boats pass me in here. They've been in here fishing, so. Who knows? They could have already hit this bank, but I think the fish rotate up and down. I think there's, you can make a pass, turn around, come back, make another pass, and catch them again. I caught them once. But when they hit it, they're hitting it pretty good. I've had several just come at me faster than anything. And it was all I could do to catch up to them.
but I'm having some success in here. Can't complain. I had three, I had a limit in here behind, I don't know, maybe five boats. So either there's a lot of fish or they're just not catching them, and I am. But that's hard to believe, too. I'm sure they're catching them. I'm almost positive they're probably catching them. One guy was kind of mad that I was back here. He just waked me and everything. So we'll see what happens. And uh, get some small ones here. But where there's small ones, they're going to be big ones. He is. I've had some big ones today, so it's not like I haven't had any. monsters but three pound two and a half to three pounders the one you get on film I had a couple nice ones off film unfortunately the boats were right there and I just wasn't gonna film in front of them one second it's cold next thing it's hot it's hot right now but I know when that cloud gets over, it's gonna chill right down. We got a massive cold front coming in, so we'll see what happens. See if we can't get a couple more on film. Get out of this day. slow is the big key right now taking your time I can't get a reaction fish going yet I've tried cranking spinner baiting and chatter baiting and nothing yet but it doesn't mean they're not there it's just it seems like I'm having to really take my time and slow down for them they that barely got him man Got him. Didn't realize he was there. Again, that wind just pushed me right up the bank here. here it's cold <laughs> doesn't look like it but it is <laughs> if you stood in a sunny spot with no wind on yet it's warm but there's no sunny spot with no wind on yet. I'm trying to see if there's any I have a feeling when I come to thought of this last night Degree water down here, and it is very potential that the first wave spawners will happen on this truck. Very possible. Now, I can 
be wrong, but I don't think we're going right now we're going to stay in fish in the warmest potential water on the system. So I see fish down there on the scope, moving around. May not be bass, could be anything. We're gonna fish for a while until I find where they're set, stack, 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 ready to go in. Clean house. Hopefully, we'll see. one I've caught. The other one was about two pounds that I had on, but I just didn't get a hook in its mouth. There's the most little frenzy nail, shaky head. Take it from there, I guess. today. Two on this now. In about 10 yards. But these are not hunting fish whatsoever. Beautiful fish. Not winning ones. Put the camera here. Let's see what happens. Yes, sir. This has been fast now. This 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 pattern has fat has been successfully quick. I threw Carolina rig. I threw the shaky head, which you saw. I caught two on it. Now I've caught three on this. And uh, there's one right there. Probably under two. He's got a big jaw on him though. The last I think as I'm done in here, I just caught a fish. Carolina rig. Boy, they're being aggressive to it though. This is the second one I've caught on it. Definitely eating it. 
So trying to cast here and see if we can't get one hook set on film. And then in the day. And then tomorrow I'm going into the Chickahominy. big fish today unfortunately just a couple of those that you saw earlier on the shaky head and the Senko but that's about it Action bites that I'm looking for not happening. Bundled up all day, wind blowing, got colder. Water temps dropped about a degree from yesterday. We're not getting much for temps. But other than that, let's see if we can't get one more on film. If not, we'll just cut it right here and uh, go into a new section of the lake tomorrow. The Chickahominy. Day three coming up soon. Well, this is probably going to be my final day of practice. I fished yesterday. And I had some fish. Did okay. I'm trying some places up in the Chickahominy. And it uh, seems pretty crowded already. But I'm just going to go ahead and just do it. Well, I don't care. Don't care, don't care. And I don't care. So, um, it's I just need to do it, get in there, and uh, hopefully I can capitalize on this stuff. But I had a good day yesterday, fairly good, I just didn't film. And uh, we'll see what happens. First, tomorrow I may not go out. I'm not sure yet, I haven't made up my mind tonight. I have an idea of where I'm going. Chickahominy's not been good to me. I've caught a catfish, I caught a gar, and one bass. A lot of people fishing. I have no idea what they're catching. Everybody's running around. Crazy. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'll get out of here, give it a shot, see you tomorrow, I'll probably wake up, may go out for a tiny bit, make a couple early casts, and go check in. Let's hope the tournament video is better. Much as I can't think about it, but we'll do that and see what happens. I hope the tournament video is better. All right, here's the deal. I'm fishing. Whoa, fishing here. I thought I'd throw a crank bait in the water and um, yeah but 
Look at this. So this, I did one more day of practice. I was throwing the, uh, come here. Holy crap. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So anyways, yeah. Thought I'd throw it for a little bit and see what happened. Go up the bank here. Nice fish, huh? Let's say, we love you. Thank you. Might have a starting spot tomorrow, boys. Might have a starting spot. Got a boat coming up this way. I might try some cranking again. Let's see if I can get another one. But this is uh, the last day of practice. I only have a few hours because on Wednesday, you know, because on Wednesday, but. Thank you, Bill Lewis. That's the uh, square bill, SB 57. Railed it. I don't know what to do. I have a place to start. I don't know if I should start here with the super low tide tomorrow and then end somewhere else in the afternoon or go take fish from there and then come here tomorrow. I don't know. Not much. I'm not much of a crankbaiter. I'll be honest with you, I'll do it, but I gotta, I gotta get better at cranking. Not. If I can both flip this. Yep. There it is. There's four. All right. There's fish up here. Oh my gosh. Then he crank. Now what do I do? He's a good fish. Take my time, I guess. I've got two solid fish up here. That first one was about six, seven pounds. This one, that one there, the other bit of four. So, fish for 12 pounds, 11 pounds, two fish for 11 pounds, if I get two, three more up here like that, holy moly, they're up here, got to get it right by their face, I guess. Reaction. I tried a shaky head for a while to see because I was cranking, but I think the water was just, I just kept gr grinding the bottom. I couldn't get no action or nothing. Where I caught that first one, it was deeper. Uh, now it's like really super shallow. So now it's spinnerbait time, I think. And, uh, I think if you know, like I always say, know your bait, know how to use them, and know what they can do. And, and uh, I need a Buy one, I guess. It's yours. But I thought I'd come up this bank about another hundred yards. If I catch another one, two giants up here like that. That's that's a solid fish. I know I can go catch a limit in the, where I had him the other day in the afternoon. I think I'm starting starting up here. 
I am starting up here. Up on him, I guess. I don't know. I have one boat down there that came in behind me. He's over there fishing, but I didn't go spinnerbait over there. Spinnerbait's really good, especially searching for pre spawners and spawners because you thump by them. If they smack it, they don't eat it. You can always follow up something else. You'll always know. Fish all your structure. I don't like chipping and fishing. They're not on everything. Tide's super low. I think it's done going out right now. Low tide, I'm right there. One right there, just a few buck there. But um, tells me I need fish up here. Down a quarter, so it's a keeper. Cover and hit logs, trees, wood with this thing right here, pretty good. Probably get bit. All right, I'm gonna probably end this and get out of here because I don't like being watched. He's coming up on me quick. See ya.